Hello everyone and welcome to Studio Jillian's first sketchbook tour. I'm going to go through my sketchbook from 2021 to 2022 with you. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is my first official sketchbook tour. And first, I'd like to go through with you the fact that I like to scrapbook and sort of clip things into my sketchbook that aren't necessarily drawn. So I have these papers that I just drew on from school that I was planning with and doodling with. And because they're double-sided, I couldn't glue them into my sketchbook, so I just used a paper clip. Uh, but here we have a couple of doodles that I was doing back in February. I have a couple moose drawings. I was practicing for an upcoming book that I am starting to illustrate for. So here I have different styles of moose illustrations. This one she liked the best. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one because that's the one she liked. And here are just some practice illustrations of realistic moose and a little mouse on the bottom of the page. Here I have just a little quick sketch of a goldfish that I liked and for some reason gamers grass uh, is something I wrote down. Well let's actually get into the sketchbook. So the first page I have a sticker of a wine bottle and then I have a couple of cricket pieces that my mother-in-law made for our Christmas tags. And then you'll notice on the second page I glued in this piece, be you, not them. And then over here I drew my mouse character Snowball. So I glued in this piece from a agenda that I used and lots of stickers I put in for this fox illustration. I really love using stickers. So on this page I've glued in a printout of a horse picture that I increased the saturation on and did some planning for what I would do if I was talking to clients. More glued in pieces from an agenda and a little sketch of me throwing something. <laughs> I put in a T Public sticker because I had recently printed some sweatshirts with a design I made. Then I started trying to plan out inventory for myself. It didn't really work, but it looked pretty with my uh, highlighters. I got another page that I liked the illustration on and glued it in. And then I also sketched my snowball character and then used highlighter in the background. I do love using my highlighter, so I made some blob shapes and tried to make teddy bears out of them. And they turned out pretty cute. So same guy on the other page because the marker bled through, but that's okay because then I just drew him a bunch of different times. And then I have this face with a third eye. I just wanted to use my brush pen, so that's how come that's there. And on this page, I glued in a picture I did in Procreate of a character I had a dream of. She is a post-apocalyptic uh, character who has dragonfly wings. And basically the world is filled with water from global warming. So it's entirely an ocean. And there's these tall like rock structures and you have to fly from one to the other. And then I also tried sketching her in a different style with longer hair and never really went anywhere with it. So I've also glued in this because I liked the colors and the composition and just the simpleness of like the fruits and stuff. So I wanted to do something with it eventually, but then I only ended up doing rabbits on the other page and never actually got to the fruit. So. I was feeling inspired by rabbits that day and just did those. Oh look, I have some more moose on this page. And then I was planning my intro actually for one of my 
um, videos on YouTube, uh, which was my demo reel, but then I just sort of did more moose instead of planning. So that's what the face and the sunshine studio Jillian on this page is, is all my planning and things to remember in Premiere Pro. So I did a challenge for Jazza, uh, but then I glued this over top of it because I didn't like it. And then I started again. Uh, drawing with Jazza did a like 20 dice roll and then you would just like do the prompts. So this is what I got out of all of them. And then my fight COVID sticker because we were in lockdown. And I tried drawing a robot. I don't remember why. Because then we quickly transitioned to birds, and then I put more stickers on it. Lots of bird stickers. Oh, more birds. Cute little guys that I guess I saw on Pinterest. And then I tried practicing a hummingbird, because eventually I would like a tattoo of a hummingbird. And of course I added more stickers. And then I started practicing face shapes, of course on this page, lots of practice. And then I ended up really liking this illustration I did of myself and my boyfriend. And then I got him to write, I love you too, in my sketchbook in his handwriting. Because I am cute and cheesy like that. And here, I guess I was trying to draw an otter character. Um, so I have some stickers in here as reference. And then quickly decided that I didn't want to do that and just did more face sketches and played around with stuff like that. And then I was really inspired by one of Chris Hong's video sketchbook tutorials. So I was practicing how she does faces. And then I started to draw like my friend, the way that she has like a really sharp nose. I love to draw her so much. So I tried to do that, but then yeah, that's how that went. And then some more planning here. I did a sort of walk cycle to plan like my dog's little animation. And then eventually I made that in Adobe After Effects. And then I had a little plan for a comic that uh, never ended up being completed, of course. And then I just wrote some scribble chicken stretch just to say what's going on during COVID. And then I drew my cat Toby. I call him Tubular Duber. Ah, here we go. So here I was planning the intro sequence to my YouTube videos and any other intros to other videos that I wanted to do where I am throwing my pen up in the air and it turns into my logo. And then here I was planning how my banner would look if I were to do a stand at the farmer's market. So here, I was definitely not having a good day and I drew it. And then I had to plan how I was gonna make a 3D sort of background for Zoom for one of my classes. And then also for that class, I had to sketch a 3D image, so this I glued in is part of that. And then I drew Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. So it was around this time, I guess it was getting close to Easter, and I wanted to do some cards, so I was planning how I would write Happy Easter or Hoppy Easter, just to kind of see how I liked it, and then Oh, I got some uh, rigging that I wanted to do, so I planned it in here. And I was following a tutorial, I guess, by Aaron Blaze. And then I drew his classic teddy bear, or I guess they're grizzly bears. But anyway, I drew him. He was cute. He was fun. And then I drew a brick, because you need to draw from life sometimes. So I did that. And then on this page, I have a hockey player. I don't remember why or where he came from, but I have one. And then I was going to do a icon for one of my friends who does Twitch. So I planned that out. And then I remember making this cute kitty and bunny and I was going to make stickers out of them. 
uh, but that never happened. And then here, I guess I'm turning 23 soon, so I had to put that down. And then I tried to practice body shape, so I did the structure of the circles and everything. And then on this page, I did a little dog sketch, and eventually I want to make that a sticker. Here's some more body practice and just getting proportions and shaping correct. Over here, I started planning how my video would go for the dog game that I was working on. And then I did a couple of drawings from Instagram that inspired me that one forced me to use different perspective, which is why I'm laying down on the ground here. <laughs> I got some cute otters. Creative hands are really clean. I like that quote. I can't remember where it came from, but I wrote that down. And then I drew myself. It was difficult because I always try to stylize myself better looking than I actually think I am. Oh, and here is an Easter illustration that I did end up posting to my Instagram. And I printed it out. And then I drew myself as a little dragon character. And I got some wings. And I used my Posca pens to draw on my dress to make it kind of see-through. And my teacher April Fool's Dust, so I guess I wrote that up there too. Oh, when I was driving to one of my friends, I have uh, a blank page, but I saw a piece of wood that reminded me of an aardvark, so I drew it. I can't remember why it was, where that was, but anyway. Another blank page, what is going on here? Ugh. Oh, and here I was planning my Instagram 400 followers. And a little duck, but he's upside down because I'm looking up at him from underwater. But yeah, I have over 500 followers now, so that never happened. Oh, and here I'm trying to draw a different style where all of the limbs are much thicker at the end and not very, like, proportionate, I guess, to the rest of the body. So they're much bigger limbs as opposed to the body. I'm not sure. I just thought it was fun. And here, I used the girl from the front of my book. I redrew her uh, as me drawing. And then I drew me and my boyfriend, me hugging him like a koala, because he's much taller than I am. And on this page, I have some faces from a movie. I don't know who they are, but if anyone knows, please feel free to comment which movie I might have picked them from. And here, what am I writing? Oh, I was writing maybe a script for myself for one of my portfolio exams. And then I started to draw my old character, Maggie Mae, and then, oh, exam day, yes. Wow, I was so inspired that day, it looks like. Uh, nothing here, but I did manage to draw some eyes that I liked from Pinterest. Congratulations to me. On this page, I was drawing people from a show I was watching, so I could not actually tell you who they are, but this guy had some really cool glasses. And then, tastes like a sexy battery. I cannot tell you where that came from. I am so sorry. But that happens sometimes, so. Ah, here's a cute picture of Ollie and another empty page. Ah, why do I keep doing this? So I kept drawing Ollie as dramatic as I could. And then on this page, oh, Casey Golden's ants. I was planning my dialogue or just writing what was going on. And then I started planning my 500 followers post. That never happened. Instead, I did a giveaway. So, uh, but here's my attempt at planning. And this little guy right here, uh, I drew him from a sculptor from this Instagram page, so. Why do I only have two things on this giant page? Oh, I started an internship and I had forgotten coffee. And so I wrote about how I could only think about how I forgot to make myself coffee that morning. It was miserable. I just... I need coffee. So then on this page, I was practicing horses 
because I had gotten a horse commission and was going to be painting it, so I started playing with different kinds of horse designs. And then this little piece right here is a clock design that I was making it look like a dragonfly for a commission. I can't remember who that was for, but yes. And then I saw this face in the clouds and it was really cute, so I made a whole character out of it. And some little owl faces. I like the little horns, but I don't know how to do the feather horns properly. But I did figure out how to sketch with a pen for this parrot. And some cute sketches of myself as a cartoon character. And I think I was watching Beastars, so that's what these are. I just tried to draw them really cute or at all because I was feeling uninspired and then I went outside the next day and drew some things from the clouds that I thought I saw and then my neighbors at the time had a catio so I drew the cat patio I would love to have a cat patio or a catio for my two cats Toby and Cyrus more outside drawings of things I just saw, plus like a moon. And then I was planning on a duck commission, I guess. And oh, I guess I'm fully vaccinated for COVID, so I had to write that down. And then you'll see, I have not drawn since like July. And then I picked up the sketchbook again in October. So we were doing like Inktober or Drawloween, I guess. And then I was doing the Cyclops prompt and the spider prompt. And I found a sticker. Not sticker, it's tape. It's duct tape. Halloween duct tape. Here is another prompt. It was the movie It. So my iteration was going to Pinterest and finding a cat and sketching it on Procreate. So Halloween, I went to a indoor children's playground that we have here in the city I'm in and I was drawing all the kids in their cool costumes while I was trying to sell my Halloween book. Uh, the book is called Twas the Night Before Halloween so this place gave me a really good opportunity to get my name out and sell some of these books and get inspired and draw the kids. I love the little Halloween costumes they had, the cute little pirates, the kitty ears, the everything. It was great. It was a good time. Actually, I actually filled out quite a few pages that night. Uh, one kid was dressed as Mario and then so I drew them and then this little girl came in with the biggest bushy hair and actually some really big glasses so I drew her and then a couple of the skeleton decorations and more just doodling while I was there. This skeleton has a cute fedora but I'm not good at drawing fedoras. So yeah, this was my Halloween weekend. And then I pasted in another cute little illustration of some fruits. Uh, but on this page, it's more of the Halloween people that I sketched. And I was hoping to draw these fruits, uh, but I only managed to do two. Here I'm planning for a um, campaign for my job that I was doing where we were selling some toques and I was just playing the background for it and pasted them in. And then here I started drawing just some cute characters that I saw from other illustrators who do children's books. On this page, I guess I was scrolling through Pinterest and was drawing some ravens to get some practice for the Ravenclaw bag that I drew for my mother-in-law. And then here I did a sticker of this dog. A uh, pug for my friend. I guess I was uh, practicing some more of my characters. And oh, this little rod gone, the artist Bumblebee that he puts in. I think he's really cute. Then some trash panda. Cute little guy practicing more different kinds of characters and animals. Got this little Farquaad looking type dude that I had a dream about and had to sketch him because I was like, who are you and what are you doing in my dream? And then this black kitty that I drew at work and pasted him in. 
And I do love me some Milky Ways illustration, so I just drew one of her characters on this page, and then Moose characters on this one, as we were starting to talk about uh, Barry distracted again, so I was doing that. And then, here's me planning my Christmas cards that I do every year, or holiday cards, and then I did some little bunnies because they are so cute, and one of my coworkers has a bunny, so I was very inspired by that, and the fact that you can dress them up all cute. So this page is a page full of stickers due to the fact that I was probably hiding a sad illustration that I didn't want anyone to see ever. And then because of November, we all have carved pumpkins. Don't throw them out, give them to your trash pandas or any other places that compost them or whatever, just recycle them. And here I have some wallpaper. I liked the design, so I pasted it in here. It filled an empty page, so. And then here, I was practicing some character design, probably inspired by Milky Ways and a whole bunch of other things. I got an Animal Crossing Banum that I drew with the hat and the everything. And then on this page, I'm not sure which the campaign is called, but uh, it's a Dungeons and Dragons type role playing game where these people come together and they play. So I drew a couple of their characters and then pasted this in because I really liked the style of it. And this garden gnome, I believe, was part of that Dungeons and Dragons campaign. There's a Gorgug and the corn cuties and then this page I have... Oh, what's her name? It's from Critical Role, their third campaign. So I drew them. And then I was planning a notebook cover that I wanted to have Animal Crossing themed because I'm a giant Animal Crossing lover. So here that is. All the planning and the markers and the paint and the smudges. All of it. And then here, planning more Christmas cards or holiday cards. Just refining what I would like to have on them. Practicing the characters. So the little bears, positioning. And then a card for my friend who has all of these animals. So I wanted to make like a Christmas tree type pyramid with all of her animals. Anyway, it was really cute and it was fun to draw all of her animals. You can kind of tell when I have some art block and I just have random sketches and like they don't go together at all. Like I drew my cat, a person, and a mouse opening a box. And then that cat, yeah, I just... There was no inspiration, and I just posted a thing in there. No, th there it is again. I paste things in when I have no inspiration. I th thought that was going to turn out great, but it did not. It did not. And then these little raccoons are definitely from an artist I see on Instagram, but I cannot remember their name, so I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, I do love me some critical role and some not. Not the brave. And then I tried to draw my own character as sort of the same goblin that Knot is turned into. <gasps> Sorry, spoilers. Um, but yeah, so very inspired when uh, watching those campaigns. Just more practicing. And here I have some more art block. This little character reminds me of a squid board teddy bear. He's kind of cute. I don't know where his inspiration came from, but nonetheless, I actually sketched and inked this one. Um, more just art block pages. So I guess I was out watching Clifford the Big Red Dog when it came out because I sketched him all over. And then on this page, I did a character based on some of these card pieces that I got in a gift bag. So I made it into a little sweater on this deer. And then pasted some eyeballs in here, I guess. I have a envelope that I wanted to recreate, so I put it in here to try to practice the deer a little bit. Um, but that never ended up happening. 
And then here I actually did this character with the same sweater as this color scheme. And then I drew some drawing with waffles inspired girl illustration as well as the gorilla's character. It would seem it was a very YouTube video inspired spread that day. Now art block is a thing that happens a lot to me and surely to everyone else. So I started with just picking up a pencil and illustrating which happened to start with the hair that I liked on Pinterest and making it into a character and then some cute kitties that I just saw scrolling through Pinterest. Um, I'm not sure who that guy is, but he's cute. Probably someone I scrolled over on Instagram or Pinterest. And then, oh, I was planning to do a polymer clay sculpture of a frog and then a Pinterest watercolor illustration. I was practicing like water and stuff, so that's highly inspired by that. And watercolor doesn't actually do too bad in this book. As you can see, it's not bleeding through. I really like this book. Oh, time is a weird soup. And this is a really old card that I pasted in. Um, it's a holiday card that I found from my grandmother's stash of things. And my friend sent me a card all the way from Ireland. She had spent the year in Ireland, so she uh, sent me a card over and I put it in my sketchbook because I love it so much. And then I guess this was like more art block scrolling through Pinterest just to see what I can sketch. I don't really have a lot to say about this page. I'm pretty sure I was watching movies. Yes, we were watching Harry Potter, I believe. Uh, when I go to my mother-in-law's for Christmas, we always marathon Harry Potter. So I drew a Thestral and then also was playing with other things that I found on Pinterest. So that's why there's a assortment of things going on on this page. And here, here I am planning my studio. One day when I become rich and famous, I'm going to have an art studio. I got my parking lot and my walkway planned out, my little garden and office. I've got everything planned out. It's great. I love it and I can't wait and I don't think it's actually going to happen, but you can dream, right? Um, drawings, sketches on this page. And then when I decided to mix um, a bear with my boyfriend's name and came up with Beric and laughed for about five minutes and then decided to draw a fursona of him because that's who I am as a person. Beric, Beric, Eric, Beric. Ha ha ha. I thought it was so funny. And I just kept sketching him until I got bored of drawing him and tried to draw myself. We're not going to talk about this one. It's pretty terrible. Uh, but yeah, here we go. We got that guy. And then there's me. Jelly bear. Like a jelly bear or gummy bear. Yeah, that was cute. And then the new year. Off to a good start, I would say. I made this little divider just so that, you know, if anyone scrolling through is like, oh, that's 2021 and that's... 2022. So I have some sketches and posing the practice that I was doing. And then on this page, I drew Beric once again and actually made a full piece of it for his office. And then here, pasted a envelope in here that I liked and some critical role characters of fresh cut grass and What's Marisha's character's name? Fern. Fern. Yes. When she hugs him. Ah, gotta love campaign three. And here, um, this is some actual wallpaper that I collected from a craft my mamere grandmother had made. It looks like it's stamped with acrylic paint, so I wanted to try to recreate it at some point. Ah, never did, but yeah. So here I pasted in a digital illustration of the tiger, because the Chinese New Year this year is the year of the tiger, and I also put it on top of a piece of book, I guess, I cut out. Here's some sketches of Ollie and a couple doodles, and my favorite Ninja Turtle, Leonardo. We're not going to talk about that Ninja Turtle obsession. And a little tiny sketch that I guess I needed to do right in the corner. 
and uh, some snowball and patch characters with chicken strips. Now these characters I drew all the time. Patch and snowball were actual like pet shops that me and my brother had as kids. Here they are. I have kept them. I love them. We played with them all the time. And these were the main inspiration for a lot of my comics back in the day. So Patch and then Snowball is the character that I had. And yeah, I would just draw them all the time. Uh, they have a big place in my heart and uh, yeah, inspiration can come from anywhere. Anyways, so onto the next page. I have a little demon sort of character. I'm sure that was inspired by uh, drawing with waffles or Milky Ways. I'm not sure. And then this page. Now, this is a really good way to get rid of same face syndrome. So using shapes, you can draw any face basically just using like a square, a rectangle, a circle. So I would draw them first in pencil. I'll just show you here like sort of the face bases. And then you create faces based on what you see in the shape. It's a really good exercise and I highly recommend it because I find myself getting stuck in the same face shapes all the time. And it doesn't allow for original characters more or less when you're trying to create characters for different stories. And being a children's book illustrator, I need to make different characters for different books, for different authors. So we can't have the same thing all the time. So that's how I get rid of my same face syndrome, as they call it. Also, it's not 2020 anymore, it's 2022. <laughs> so here I just was trying to draw that bear character again that I was referencing off a sticker. And here I'm doing some posing and proportion practice. Can't remember who I was watching on YouTube. I'll link them in the description. Um, but yeah, I like his videos and he teaches a lot of sort of level for sketching and character design. So I did that. And then here, lots of art block. I wanted to use my brush pen and play with it. So I did that. And don't forget to show your smile today because I think this is the Blue Monday. Yeah. This spread is all of my characters that I had created over the years. I got Snowball and Maggie Mae. Uh, this one, Snowball, is the mouse. And yeah, this guy, little Snowball. And then Maggie Mae, and then I had a Red Panda character, uh, and I had an Otter character, and then the newest Bear character, but I never finished them, so. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna just, yeah. And then I was trying to play with pencils and shading stumps. Um, and then I ended up drawing this magnificent beard. Oh my goodness. And then stickers. Real good, real good. Love the stickers. Good time. Uh, more sketching, more practice. I don't really use sketching and smudging stumps because I don't like it on my fingers. And uh, we have a blank page. Why? Why the blank pages? And then here I'm going through a frog kick, I guess. I really wanted to use all my frog stickers and just make this page all froggy. I really want to turn this little glasses froggy into a sticker. However, I have not got there yet, so. And now we're gonna get into a mushroom kick because I really like mushrooms. So, pasting some stickers on this page, and, oh, not yet my mushroom cake. We have a clown in here. And this guy, I, I don't really know. I guess I was just drawing him for a friend. <laughs> he looks like the guy from Brother Bear, so. And still no mushrooms. I guess I lied to you guys. But we got some red panda, lots of stickers, lots of playing around with my Posca pens, especially with that frog and his little dapper hat. Oh my goodness. This little pigeon. He's cute. And this little fox. So, yeah. Ah, I do love my Posca pens. I was uh, playing around with them 
Uh, these are not my original designs. I am playing off of Pinterest a lot, so did not mine. Not mine. Still cute, though. Yes, more Pinterest practice. This tuna fish is very delectable. And I was watching YouTube, maybe? No, it was probably Pinterest on how to make water out of the Posca pens. So did that. Practice. More froggies. Ah, here we go. So here are some characters, the Snowball and Patch characters, my little pet shops. And I just pasted them in there because I re-sketched them from now and then I have little pieces of when I had drawn them before in 2009 so that's in here nice and good good and safe and then here's my mushroom kick lots of mushrooms and I was planning the cover of this sketchbook because I've decided that I needed to use my Posca pens more so here's me planning on what I'm gonna put on the front And, oh, mushroom bum! I actually made earrings for a friend out of that, out of polyglay, of the little mushroom butt. It was so cute. And I really, really want this campfire paper table. At the college I was at, they had these in the student lounge, and it was great. And me and my friends could collaborate. So, I love them. I want one. Jermarin. I'm not pronouncing that right. I'm so sorry, but this is their original design. I will link their Instagram in the description. And I made some bumblebees and had some art block, so egg sticker and character. Here I have some art inspired by Chris Hong again, I believe. And I was just playing around with the cute little designs and the face structure and practicing. And it started to turn out not very good. So, yeah, there's that. Some more art block. Love me some art block. So we just start sketching random things that we see on Pinterest. And I'm just practicing proportions. Ah, yes. More Posca pen sketching because of art block. Uh, I love these little froggy designs uh, that I see on Pinterest. Um, so Unga Pants it was this frog design here with the lantern. And I was doing some possum sketches. I'm sure many of these were inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. I don't know the artists the original artists name um, but these are not like my original designs I'm just practicing and playing and then some more art block so I tried to just I guess not fill this page um, but this page here I drew a teddy bear that I own just as an exercise because art block and here I have some sketches of some characters I saw on Pinterest. Uh, this one I ended up liking the most, so I gave her her own page and did her with some different hairstyles and uh, different colors, I guess, of hair. I got the gold hair and the black pen hair on the frog. These characters here I just found on Pinterest and was just practicing because you need to practice like all the time and then here I gave that character her own page and made a really long legged froggy on this page over here I was doing a commission for someone who has a twitch and does gaming and crocheting and all these fun things so she wanted a character witch design and so I did some thumbnail sketching and some more thumbnailing and then eventually we get over to some more thumbnailing and a final sort of decision on what the character icon will look like for the profile picture. Lots of planning, lots of sketching is kind of how I do that process. And then on this page um, I drew myself as a really old woman as a how I vision myself in the future. So little lady with all of her children's books and yeah it was kind of fun to just do that. This is a good thing. And then here 
I wanted to do some surrealism. I got some giraffe dragony things. They're in some tall grass and these are like the trains that are going by and they're just like watching it. I have not finished this in any sort of way, but I sketched it out and one day maybe I'll actually get to painting it. So then this page looks like I was having a draw this in your own style moment from Instagram and never finished it. But I do like this little character and maybe I'll do something more with her. We'll see. And then back to thumbnailing for that uh, commission for the Twitch streamer. I have been planning out how the icon would look, but we ended up going with just like, just her character, nothing else. So then we get into some funguary. It's February and I needed some inspiration. So we're drawing mushrooms as characters and I started with the inky cap, I believe. Anyway, so uh, I got this lady who's dripping the ink and this little guy uh, didn't like it because I got it all over my hands. And then we have more sketching. I really don't like using pencil, but I wanted the shading. And then we have what it turned out in the end, um, this little guy at the bottom here. So I actually did a finished illustration of that. And I guess that around this time, uh, Critical Roles campaign came out, campaign one, Vox Machina, so I drew a lot of that. I also have a picture of my friend on here too, she's got the pink and green hair, but lots of how they did the illustrations for the character design, and then I drew Scanlan Short Halt. And then here we have another Funguary prompt. I believe this is the Calthrus Ruber or Calthrus Rubber? I'm not sure. But I ended up making a final illustration of that. And then here I have a sketch of a bear pet and a lady looking out to the woods. But the important thing is, is I sketched and made a final product. So before finalizing that design for that prompt, I tried a few different things like the heart and it being all holy and like see-through, a couple face characters and other things. So, And then I got this little guy from Pinterest. I love the way his eyes are so big. So this one was really hard to do. The destroying angel mushroom for the funguary prompt. I made so many sketches of this. I fought over it for a very long time. Uh, and eventually I just gave up and started just doing whatever. And so, but I did eventually get to a final design. Um, it just took a very long time. I sort of made a whole bunch of other things in the meantime, but this was the final sketch before I decided to go full ham on it. Uh, and I ended up pasting a Valentine's Day card in here that I made. But yeah, I spent a lot of time on this Destroying Angel mushroom prompt. So here is the ink sketch, and then up here is the digital sketch that I made and the final piece. Next prompt was the Parasite mushroom called Cordyceps. Oh, cordyceps. I never made a final illustration just because I being lazy. Um, I did put a cute sticker in here of the Eastern Hognose Snake, but I was practicing a lot of the perspective for it and just got bored of it. And then we have another Valentine's Day card glue-in. Um, some cute designs from Pinterest, little monsters, dragonfly character, just more practicing. So for my internship, I was tasked with making a logo with the YMCA logo. So I had done some sketches, but never ended up going with that design. And then here I did some character sketching of how I wanted to make my character. And then here we get into the dragonfly character for the first time with um, my markers because I had made her digitally, but this is the first time I'm making her like traditionally. 
And then I practice shoes because I am so bad at drawing shoes. I just, I cannot. I am so bad at drawing shoes. So here I'm doing some beach sketches because the one mushroom, the purple coral fungus, was reminding me a lot of the beach, so I just went into drawing prompted by the beach. And then I don't know if I actually finished an illustration of the purple coral. Ah, uh, this is the sketch that I made. Ah, uh, we didn't get into a final digital illustration because I didn't like the sketch. And then here I have some face sketches of just people from either Pinterest or Instagram. This person is someone I follow on Instagram, uh, but yeah. Okay, so here I am drawing Ollie as what he would probably look like as an Animal Crossing character. And then here I had a dream that I lived in this house that had so many things, so many ovens that had like grass growing out of a floor in the tile. I'm sorry, a tile in the floor, my goodness. And then here, this was like the laundry room and I had a really old looking TV with all these movies, collections, cassettes, yeah, it was weird. Uh, and then I was practicing horses for some reason probably inspired by this sticker, but we did a lot of horse sketching. And then this guy, uh, I found him on Pinterest and liked the style, so I just made him look like Eric, because I can. And I do love to draw my boyfriend all the time. And, oh, she was from Pinterest as well, thought she was cute, thought she looked like me, so I put her in here, and then tried to do an eight-point turnaround sketch, but uh, that never happened for her. And then I tried to draw my bear character again, and then just put some stickers to fill out the rest of the page. But, uh, yeah. I drew her again over here with Eric, Beric, yes, and my polar bear stickers. I do love me some polar bear stickers. And then some bunnies. Bunny characters, because it was still February, and for some reason I needed to draw bunnies in Easter. That's just how that do. And then on this page, I got into a llama kick because I guess I found a character that I used to draw back in grade school. So I went and drew a whole bunch of llamas. And then we get back to the funguary sort of thing where I was trying to make characters out of mushrooms. So I made a mushroom cut, bowl cut looking guy, mushroom head. I don't know. But uh, yeah, he is fungusy, I guess. So I used to be a lifeguard and that's how I met my boyfriend. We would lifeguard together at this pool and one night uh, while I was sitting watching him do a lesson or something, I drew him as his bear character because this was fairly recent. And then I drew myself uh, because it brought back some old memories of that character. And then I bought this ceramic kitty and I had to draw it. It was so cute. Um, this artist makes lots of them and I plan to buy more. I am just very broke right now. Uh, but uh, if you like them, go ahead and follow her on Instagram and support her and buy her stuff. So on top of being absolutely broke, I decided I would plan a tattoo for myself. Um, all these flowers are flowers that remind me of my late grandmother and I want to get them sort of as a sleeve that go around the strawberry tattoo that I already have. So then we have some more art block and scrolling through Instagram stuff. These are all illustrations and things that I found. I got a cute little cow. I love it. So cute. And then on this page, I guess I was visiting my stepsister, and she drew an elephant bumblebee, and I was also making a design for her shirt. It was, uh, Abel, Sable, Mabel, from Animal Crossing. Anyway, I put it on her shirt for her. And I did some cute little sketches on the next page because, you know, art block. 
So I was looking through some old cards and found this cute little bear illustration on one of them, put it in my sketchbook, and tried to make a character out of her. She is so precious. And then on top of that, I made more bear content and actually made a comic strip. Uh, and then I animated it in Procreate. And just cute little bat character at the bottom. Oh, and here uh, I did a tattoo commission. So someone wanted a beetle and I drew it with my pencil and blending stump. Then on this page I have some bears because I love my bears. And oh my goodness, you cannot see this page at all. It's very faint. I am sorry. Anyway, it is just practicing proportions and body types. And then, of course, I do some faces and hairstyles just to practice. I am terrible at drawing men's faces. I am not even going to apologize for that. I know that I'm bad at it, so I need to do it more. Here I have a Pinterest Posca pen sketch and then some Cricut vinyl scraps that I put on top of some dragons that I practiced and oh my goodness my kitty and then some more Pinterest doodles uh, all of these are images that I found on Pinterest that I was just using to practice and warm up because our block and this is a cute frog oh my goodness I forgot I had her she's cute I would make a character out of her from that page smudge just let me erase that there we go better. So now we have one extreme to the next. Uh, we have this creepy old fishing man that I drew and then uh, my friend is so beautiful I just have to draw her all the time. So here she is and all of her glory. She is beautiful. I love her. Okay so now I need to talk to you about all my notes that I make. I'm trying really hard to figure out what people want to purchase and I just please buy my stuff. Please buy my prints. Oh I got some more vinyl in here. Love my fishy vinyl. But yes I'm trying to figure out how to sell my art prints and stickers better. But uh yeah. I got some fishies and just some doodles. This is a cute kitty from Pinterest. I, it is not my original design. I just wanted to play with my Posca pens. Um, we have this character that I did poorly. A little bug. Uh, stickers. Oh, and this page. Okay, so I had a dream about this character whose name was Peggy. Her name was Margaret. Um, and people who were her close friends and family call her Maggie. Anyways, she is a long nose, wears a mask because she likes to hide it and then she made this friend with this character named Molly uh, yeah I had this whole like this was a whole dream like it was so weird and, and so these characters had like uh, a bully and like someone who is super prissy and pretty and they would just like go through middle school and I just I wanted to draw this whole adventure which was kind of similar to mine um, my experience in middle school but I don't think I'm ever going to get around to it because I haven't thought out the storyline at all. But yeah, um, I have whole characters from a dream. And here on this page, like her main saying was like, ah, oh, these flamingos are like pink. How is that natural? Like, I'm telling you, the science doesn't add up. And then her friend uh, is a little bit of a tomboy. So she uh, bikes and stuff a lot and makes fun of her. Um, then I ordered something from Fox and Cactus. I do love me their products. Uh, their packaging was so adorable. I put it in my sketchbook. Uh, these are little stickers, but I'm just going to glue them in here and never use them because I love them. And then I did some illustrations based off of their designs and I love it. And here's what I actually got from them. Earring sets and a couple stickers from them. A couple of the stickers that ended up in my sketchbook. Not on this page though, this is more Clifford the Big Red Dog. And some Wally? I have a Wally sticker? Some frogs? Some Posca pen? I'm pretty sure here I'm just scribbling because I can. And on this page I have some more frog illustrations. 
using my Posca pens, and then some character design from a video that I had to watch for training. Anyway, they had these cute characters and I just designed them, redraw them. More bunnies. Can't remember why I keep drawing so many bunnies. And then a, a tiger fursona. Animals and sweaters are kind of cute, and I guess I was watching Drawing with Waffles, so. Ah, here's my stickers. I bought them. Fox and Cactus. I love them. I just, I just had to. I needed to. And then I drew this devil character over because, ugh, too cute. Too cute. They really outdid themselves. And here's a birthday card I got. It will be my 24th birthday soon in this sketchbook. And then I drew me, my Animal Crossing character, as an artist. I do believe, yes, it was March 17th when I drew this, so St. Patty's Day. And here is the final outline for that beetle tattoo that I was doing. Then I have some washi tape that I put and made some clothing designs out of. Oh no, I forgot my fish died. Uh, so I had a fish, a little beta. Uh, he was three years old, and then he had a little growth on him, so he passed away after it just made him too tired. And then I drew some honey bunnies. Yes, lots of honey bunnies. So many honey bunnies. And then some jelly bean, jelly bear, more, and then more washi tape. And this character, I love her so much. I used my Posca pens to color her in, and it was just a really good time. I love it so much more posca pen bumblebees and stickers and posca pen illustrations that i found on pinterest like of this new pokemon um i don't remember the name of him and some cat grapes and a cherubi and a orange owl lots of stickers so many stickers and then here i glued in um i forget what it is but it's a little sculpture that you make yourself everything's pre-cut and then I use some oil pastels uh, I tried to do like the perspective looking down um, but uh, I don't like using oil pastels at all so I just gave up on that one and put a cover over top of it so it doesn't smear on the other side and then okay so for my birthday I did a Discord chat with a group of friends, and we did a little paint night. So this little witch character I did, and then I did some little characters after I was finished. Uh, but it was a really good time. It was really nice to have all my friends chat with me on my birthday. And then I got this cute little card from my friend Brad. It's an Animal Crossing theme because I love Animal Crossing, and he knows that. Um, this little frog I also drew the night of the paint night on my birthday. Um, and lots of stickers, lots of, lots of good times. And then I was planning on making a door sign um, for my brother, Mothman or Crow otherwise, maybe Raven. But he is not living on his own anymore, so that is not happening. And then I got this card. Uh, birthday card from one of my aunts and uncles. It's really cute. Um, the dog eats some gum and farts out a bubble gum. <laughs> That's always funny to me. Fart jokes are funny. I'm sorry. And uh, here I just did some lady character designs because art block, you know? And here is a birthday card that my stepsister made for me. She knows that I like watching uh, YouTube videos so she copied a couple of the birds from gel arts and then she did um, a little watercolor that she didn't like but I thought it was cute so and then this one is a card from my uh, sister-in-law she thought it was humorous because it's bone get it haha <laughs> I thought it was funny and then I drew a dinosaur because bones and then here I think this is how I want to start to do like when I'm shipping out uh, orders for commissions, stickers, prints, and then I drew a giraffe that I saw from an old sketchbook. So I redrew him because he was cute and weird. So here I drew some raccoons and a couple of seals and polar bears because of the stickers that I have. 
and then I put on this page did a little apple and some Posca pan and then I did some bunny and sheep drawings because I have little sheep stickers I'm guessing I'm having a little bit of art block here um, and then I did like a sketch for a painting that I want to do it's kind of like looking underneath the water in like a pond you got the fish and the frog that you would see and you're just like looking up underneath the lily pads we'll see if I actually get to it because I'm having a hard time figuring out the colors for the water because pond water is like sort of brown and hazel and I just can't get that and then here I have some sketches of like people I guess and a wolf slash fox girl character um, I was having a D&D &D kick I guess and so this guy um, definitely referenced from Breath of the Wild the lion horse thing that you fight on top of the mountain and then I did a finished illustration of the fox girl and her little toe beans so cute but yeah And then here I was planning a uh, draw this in your style and a birthday card where the angle is looking from the top down and just trying to do the perspective for that was difficult. And then here's the draw this in your style final that I did and actually posted to my Instagram. And then I drew this person. Um, not sure who that is, uh, but yeah, practice makes perfect, right? No, practice makes improvements. Oh, Cobra Chicken nothing on this page other than scribbles, zentangles. My stepsister had done some zentangles and I thought I'd give it a try. And then I drew some goldfish because they are cute. And then my friend again because she's so beautiful and she wore this really cute dress shirt thing and I loved it and it looks so flowy and she's beautiful and I just had to draw her again. And then I drew myself and or Eric barrack in a sweater with my logo and then I drew this person and a frog and a mushroom and a mouse so we're back to my frog and mushroom kick because it is April and that is what I'm feeling and here I'm just practicing face shapes and stuff and sketching with a pen because then I can erase uh, more sketching can't remember who these people are. They're just Pinterest people. It's just the best place for references. Okay, so I do have to admit that I have glasses chains, but uh, they don't make me look old. It's just so that I don't forget where my glasses go. And then I went to um, the grad showcase for my college and all of these designers made stickers and gave them for free and I love them I will put all of their Instagrams and socials in the description for you to go check them out I love their work so you gotta go do it and then my friend had a chicken named Sally and I just I needed to draw a Sally chicken so here I am sketching chickens and practicing and then this is the final sketch. And then up here, I actually made it into a final digital piece. So here I drew some fish sitting around a table doing poker and I sketched a dog from the top of the paper. And then here I was planning some packaging for when I start at a farmer's market or artisan sort of market. Uh, I wanted to incorporate my logo onto it and yeah and then here I just drew a person from Pinterest and then here I saw just really cute whale design and was inspired to draw a couple more and then some froggy designs that I was inspired by from Pinterest And I tried to draw this lady from Pinterest, but I do not know how to do dark skin color, so I need to practice that. And then uh, I did some kitty drawings. And then here I was doing some sketching of just some 
stuff from Pinterest. I do get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest, so you're going to hear me say that a lot. But uh, references are really good and pictures to be inspired by are good, so do that. Good little coffee mug here is cute. Uh, yeah, more sketching. I don't really have a whole lot to say about that page, but this page I was planning on doing a design for a traffic box that uh, the city was putting on, so I was just doing all the measurements so that I could put it up in my Adobe Illustrator because it doesn't do feet very well. So here, um, someone was going to commission me for a children's book, but then realized that when you hire an illustrator, it actually costs money. But, uh, yeah. And then I realized I don't know how to draw black, brown, dark skin. So I went to try to practice and then realized I don't have the correct pencils. Yeah, so I need to practice and get the color shades that I need for the skin tone. And then I wanted to practice um, doing different like ethnicities and things. Uh, just practicing uh, because I wanted to be doing the children's book, but it's not going to happen, even though I do believe it would be a good story. Uh, spring has sprung, so I guess this was probably the first day of spring, and I was excited about it, but didn't know what to draw and didn't know how to feel about it. And then we have the art block page where the illustrations are not very good, but I needed to draw nonetheless. Still practicing my children's illustrations because, again, I wanted to do this book. So I went and looked for some references for different children to illustrate uh, different designs. And then here, I found some scratch and sniffs. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen scratch and sniff snickers. Scratch and sniff stickers. Oh my goodness. Say that ten times fast. And then here... Uh, I wasn't having a very inspiring day, so I took this little sticker and drew a hamster after the shape. And then we get into mermaid. So now I'm starting to feel a little bit more inspired in drawing mermaids. Um, I, of course, have to have a mushroom somewhere in here because I love the, the mushrooms in the cottage core. Uh, this is actually a math symbol that Eric has had to do in class. And then here, so I started writing a book about a couple of my teachers and their daughter, and I just, I love the way that she expresses herself. It's so, like, it's just so animated, so I, like, I had to make it about her. And then my friend was doing, like, a biography design, and I got really excited about it and wanted to do my own, but I never did, and just pretended to design. And then here we have some more mermaid inspired stuff, um, just playing with my Posca pens and just pens in general so that I can't erase, so I have to just commit. And then we have more mermaids, uh, practicing different styles of mermaids and just playing around with designs and Posca pens. And this one's collecting coral, so I thought that was cute. So then here I have some frogs. I guess I was scrolling through Pinterest and saw this froggy dude. And then here, so I needed to make like a sort of stand for my books for when I go to the farmer's market. And I was trying to design like packaging. So here's like the print of it. Um, and then this is like a design I wanted to do to post to advertise. Uh, so this is just like me planning. But yeah, so this is how it, the box actually turned out. I made it completely out of cardboard. So it looks super homemade. So here I have a mermaid, uh, merman as a shark, just for a different spin. And then drawing with waffles, little blubfish, and some more mermaids for the mermaid theme. Here I have a mermaid and her pet shark. Not sure what kind of shark, just one of those little brown ones. Kind of cute. This is actually a free coloring page on my website if you're interested. Free to download and print. And then here, 
I drew myself. This is what I look like. And then I drew some kitties and this really expensive wine bottle sticker. $45 for wine. And then here I have this little sloth looking thing. And I made it to the end, but I didn't finish. So uh, let me just uh, let me just color that in real quick. There we go. Okay, so now it's done, and this is the end of my sketchbook. So yeah, this is dry. Um, at the back here, I actually have a pocket of little things that I have collected, like fox and cactus. They sent me this little postcard, a thank you card super cute so I had to keep it and because there's stuff on the back I didn't paste it in my sketchbook and here's a package cardboard design that I put on top of my prints in their cellophane packaging uh, yeah let's just staple that on there and then I have this little beer that I drew with uh, my Copic markers and I have some spare paper in here that eventually I'm going to use I guess it's very thin but I like it and then I have this piece from my agenda that I haven't glued in. Uh, it's July and then I have September because we haven't gotten there yet. So is there anything else in there? Nope. Okay, so that's my 2021-2022 sketchbook. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. Uh, if you want to see more sketchbook tours or any other drawing content, please comment below what you'd like to see. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the bell if you want to see when I post, because it's not often, I'm sorry, and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and I think that's everything. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!